You are watching Wisconsin Women. We are taping today at Dreammaker Bath and Kitchen. Right now, it's time to get fashionable. You can see we've got all kinds of great yes. things here for you. This is SJW Handmade. The designer, Sarah Wade, is here. Thanks for coming on. Yes. Thanks for having me. Oh, so nice to see you and to uh, get a chance to look at all this stuff in person. Mm -hmm. I've yes. seen all this, your pictures online. <laughs> yep. Super cool, super mm -hmm. cool. I want to yeah. talk about that wing one coming up a little later, too. Yes. But first, how did you get into this? You do sustainable fashion. Mm -hmm. How did this all start? Yeah. yeah, so I mean, sustainable is kind of a wide range, but um, I originally started when I was in middle school, kind of my beginning of my entrepreneur journey. Wow. Um, yeah, You're I was selling starter. dog treats yeah. at a farmer's market. There so, you go. Uh, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. And so that was kind of to pay for my Irish dancing and kind of my extracurricular activities. Uh -huh. Um, and then after that, I continued to sell through high school and college, but it wasn't until like high school where I kind of was one of the first students at my Fort Atkinson High School to cre create a 3D um, art portfolio for my AP art class. And that's kind of where I was finding different materials around the house that were kind of just wasted um, and then making them into a garment. So anything from bike tires to paper to bubble wrap. Pretty much you name it and wow. I started creating and then in college I had a professor that kind of had that same passion um, for, for the sustainability of, the, of clothing and, um, and then he kind of just opened up my eyes and how big of a world it is and how mm. much environmental impact that our clothing has. Yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, cool. and, and we had seen some of your items here, but I have also seen some of the photos that you sent in. You have quite a variety of yeah. items. Yeah. Can yeah. you yeah. kind of tell us a little bit about that? And yeah. Then, yeah, absolutely. So I have two different lines that I kind of like to say. So I have my wool wearables that I have displayed here today, um, obviously made from repurposed wool sweaters. They're more of the functional um, wearable items for your everyday use from mittens, hats, Gosh. ponchos, and scarves. Uh -huh. And then also my fun stuff I like to call is like my avant-garde collection. So it's kind of using that unconventional material and um, creating that into a garment. So those are probably what you're seeing, yeah. seeing online. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, and this here is amazing. Yeah. Yes. Oh gosh. So this is all made from um, repurpose or just kind of cutoffs of quilted pieces that I have patchworked together to create my own textile. And oh, then it's gosh. embellished with um, kind of jean um, binding. And then also, I don't know if you can see, but my buttons are bottle oh, caps I that I've smashed. That. I like that. Oh, yeah. That's cute. <laughs> that's yeah. Cool. So, mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So what inspired you with your all your creations. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of different avenues for inspiration in the creative world. Um, obviously, for the sustainability aspect and kind of learning and investing in that, um, I feel you know kind of obligated to you know have an ode to the sustainability portion um, and the environment. But also, my mom is an artist, so uh -huh. she and she also uses found objects and repurposes it into mosaics. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, and then I also, I love the environment, so I'm also a camp counselor during the summer, oh. and I do wilderness trips uh. out in the Apostle Island, so. Oh, yeah. wow. So yeah. it's a wide variety yeah. of inspiration, yeah. but sometimes it also comes from materials, yeah. and it's just like kind of a, like a personal finding of like, oh, I, maybe I want to wear space buns for an art, like a fashion show, and that's like, that drives the whole entire outfit. So there's oh my gosh. many different avenues yeah. of, yeah. Oh of inspiration. my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I know when we were chatting, um, like last week or so, you were just talking to me about how you do not mm -hmm. sell online, right? Correct. Yeah. Can yeah. you tell us the purpose of behind that? Yeah, absolutely. So I know that people are like, oh, can I find you online? Um, for, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and find mm -hmm. me at all my weird shenanigans, yeah. events and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a bit of a background in the business aspect of sustainability is I want people to try on my product and see my quality, mm -hmm. see my color yeah. and, and see the fit. Yes. Um, Cause it is clothing. I want to make sure that people go home with something that they want. Yeah. And buying clothing online can be very difficult between the shipping process and trying to find the right fit and all of my, you know, knit stretches or sweater stretches, they all fit just a little mm -hmm. bit differently. So right. I want people to try on my product, see it in person and know that they're getting a, a good quality product. Yeah, yeah that that's makes so sense. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where can we find you then in the future if we want to come try some things? Yeah, on? absolutely. So I'm in the Madison area. That's mm -hmm. kind of like my main focus. Um, so I'll be doing a couple, uh, an art show next weekend at the Art and Gift Fairs at Momoka on State Street in their oh, lobby. Very cool. So that's um, Saturday and Sunday, night the 19th and the 20th of November um, from 11 to 5 p.m. and then 50 feet away 50 feet away, you can find me on State Street uh, oh. that same Saturday at the Madison Night Market. Oh, yep. yeah. perfect. Otherwise, you can check out my Facebook and Instagram at SJW Handmade, and I'll have a list of events that I'll be doing there as well. Oh, oh nice. That's Gosh. Yeah. That's great that you're doing that night market. 
Oh my yeah. goodness, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a pretty busy event. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and it coincides with the tree lighting ceremony at the Capitol. Oh, nice. So yeah, you can kind of get yeah, make a, a night of it right yes. there. Yeah, oh, it'll be a long day for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fun to meet you yeah. and to get a chance Thank to you so much. try some of this on. We'll do mm. some of that now. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you so much for having me. For Wisconsin Women, I'm Stacey Hansen here with Lee Aker. We'll be right back.